Hey Cancer, this is Le um, this is Moon Pie Tarot doing your love reading for the month of July 2021. This will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits and leave the rest. A uh, personal reading link is in the description box below if you'd like to book your reading with me. All right, Cancer, let's take a look here and see what this love reading, what's going on with your person and you month of july okay unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going but keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations okay so i feel like Two people here are like trying not to give up on a relationship. This is how I feel. It's trying to keep an open mind. There's something about the connection um, that there may be some differences between the two of you. Okay. Um, now this could be someone you're currently involved with or a past person or somebody new. Um, but I think that there are... There are differences in types, you know, um, you know how people say, well, you're not my type, but she or he's not my type, um, and expectations, but I feel like there's an element here of like saying, okay, just wait a minute, maybe I'm shutting something down here too quickly, maybe I need, to, maybe there's more for me to explore here about a relationship. Okay, maybe right now there's not enough attraction or chemistry because there are some differences. Um, but saying there's not enough does not mean there isn't any at all. And I feel like there's an element here of like, okay, well, wait, just let me hold off for a minute and see how things evolve. All right, so let's take a look. All right, past position, six of cups. Okay, there was definitely a meeting to people connecting in the past. Um, sincerity might have been childhood friends, um, meeting through friends or like two people meeting on like a school ground or their kids school ground. Okay, um, but there's nostalgia in the past. There was a lot of like... Um, Maybe there was a reunion or something. You got back together with someone in the past. And it was nice and it was kind and it was, it, it seemed like it was very sweet. It was genuine. Okay. Um, at some point, you and whomever it was that you met, there was, there was just kindness between you. Let's take a look at the present energy here. Okay. Well, presently, there's like a huge crush and smitten. <laughs> this might have just been like a friendship as well. But there's a, there's a crush developing here, okay? It's either coming back around or there's some kind of spark here with this page of wands. And somebody is feeling, there's communication presently and somebody is feeling kind of giddy like a, like a child, you know? Like, ooh, I have a crush, you know? That, that puppy, puppy dog, uh, that, um, what do you call it? Puppy love. I'm just hearing puppy love, like puppy love feelings. Now, what is the challenge in this connection? Ooh, <laughs> the lovers. So, this seems like it's going to be a very beautiful connection. It'll go from a soulmate to a twin flame thing. Um, it's a benefit, right? And I feel like that's what the open mind about is. And it could be open mindedness about commitment and marriage as well with this person. You know, they may have a, they may struggle a little bit with the idea of um committing fully um they want to and they're they're definitely keeping an open mind about this here with you cancer um they see that like you two are you know one in one that there's something here i think your person they may not use the words twin flame but i feel like they're sensing that there's there's something here between the two of you. Now, the challenge could also be that your person has somebody else that they're in a relationship with or however you want to define that. Um, 
But that person from their past, it may just be a very sweet, kind connection. Um, maybe that, that person, your person has been involved with for a long time. Um, but it's nothing compared to the lovers and how this person is currently feeling right now. Okay. Um, let's take a look at what's driving this reading. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of unknowns here with the, the moon. Yeah. Th there's not enough information just yet. And I feel like that's why they, that again, that's why they're keeping an open mind about the connection because this moon here just does not shed enough light. There's, it's very exploratory energy. Um, but this person's willing to make some type of change to shed more light on, I feel like getting to know you or getting to know you better or um, trying to see if there can be more between the two of you, whether this is like coming back together or somebody new. Okay, we do have Gemini and we have Pisces here. All right, let's take a look at what's crowning this reading. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. So male or female, this person who they have on their mind is the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Um, so it's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, but whichever this person is on their mind is you, okay? It doesn't matter what your sign is, but what they are, What's forefront in their mind is the way you are very stable. You come across when they think about you. You know, there's a lot of elements and aspects to you, Cancer, but when they think about you, they think that like their thoughts are, wow, you know, Cancer's, cancer's very resourceful and a bit domesticated and good with money and, and, you know, very business oriented, that kind of thing. There's stability here. And I feel like this person is just really intrigued and inspired to know, to go deeper, to dig deeper, to get to know you better, to see what else, what, what are these differences? I'm not exactly sure. These could be cultural differences, physical differences, religious, moral, two different worlds coming together, colliding. Let's see, near future. Okay, there's communication coming from from somebody here towards you. Um, and it feels, I just heard, they're looking for you or they're watching you. Um, if they're not communicating, there's like an element, like you might actually figure out in the near future that this person's been keeping their eye on you. And you may even have they may message you with their truth let's take a look and see what the truth is here for them okay hmm they have a lot of anxiety and stress this person is going to tell you that they have um that they're an anxious type of um attachment style okay they get nervous very easily they shake rattle and roll in their shoes when it comes to relationships, it gets stressed out. They may tell you um, that they've been under a lot of, um, they're just having like a lot of grief, maybe nightmares. They can't sleep at night. And mostly it's because they wanna tell you not so much about their grief or their anxieties, but they know they've been holding back some kind of truth from you. Um, and it's driving them, it's killing them at night because they feel like haunted by, <laughs> haunted by this. You know, the nine and the, and the one sword here is the ten of swords. So they're surrendering. They're, they're throwing in the towel and coming towards you in, the, in, you know, maybe like the third week of July of some sort to tell you what's going on with them to tell you that, you know, this person's hitting rock bottom and something in their life or just surrendering to opening up or just expressing how they feel for you or what the what their truth is, really. What is their truth here? 
They might have, they might be looking for you or they're stressing about, wondering where you are, if you're not around at times or where you're going, where you've been. Mm, there's the truth here. Marriage, committed relationship, formal, traditional marriage. That's the truth. I, I said in the beginning this, your person had some kind of struggle um, with like commitment of some sort, I felt like. And I do feel like they are trying to keep an open mind about that. There's just seems to be like there's not enough information for them currently. Even though there's a spark, there's not enough information. They need to know more about you or they need to dive deeper. And they want to ask you questions. Even if you've known this person for so long, um, there's some hidden things that they feel you've hidden. You may not have, but they feel there's more to know about you because maybe you're in your crab shell a lot or you withhold or you've, you, you've been suppressing your emotions and <clears throat> you've been kind of like unseen. And I feel like this person is really curious about you, wants to know more. Okay, look, you have the Ten of Swords as well. You're both surrendering. I see you both surrendering to this connection, to coming into union with this person. They're coming in with that. Your advice with the Ten of Swords is to like hit rock bottom about this, right? Now, for some of you, they may be telling you also that they don't know if they can do it. The, the idea of marriage commitment and all of that um, stresses them out. They know they want to be with you, but they have great anxiety about this as well. Doesn't mean that they're not going to do it. We'll have to see the outcome, but I do feel like they want to talk about that though. That That's their truth. And you do too, because I feel like both of you are at a crossroads here. You're both hitting rock bottom. You're both surrendering right now and making a decision to either go together or go without. And that could be with others as well, other partners. Let's take a look at this person's energy more deeply. Okay, King of Pentacles is here. Well, it's a match, the King and the Queen. You're both very similar. You might have the same work ethic or very... Um, very practical, down-to-earth type of people. Like I said, it doesn't matter what sign you are, but I feel like this person, like you both speak the same language. <laughs> Financial language, maybe you speak binary code or something together, I don't know what it is, but you both have the pentacles. They see in you what they see in themselves. And that's where that mirroring of the lovers is, is coming in here. And they've been, they know, they definitely have been very defensive and fighting, fighting you and fighting back, push, giving you a lot of pushback about progressing the relationship forward. Um, <clears throat> but they're also a bit defensive just in general. It's how they are overprotective, you know, of themselves. They don't like to really just let anybody in fully. Um, this is definitely self-defense energy. Hmm. You know, this person, I also feel like, um, if anybody tries to talk to you or hurt you or cause problems, they would definitely stand by your side and defend you like a very strong supporter. They'd protect the castle. You know, protect the king, protect the queen. Um, although I think it's the queen protects the king. But anyway, um, they, this person has very strong inner awareness and mastery about them. A lot of insight and success, definitely. And they're very defensive about their success. Like, like it's very, very important to them. And they don't, um, they're, they're very protective about that. Okay, they're... How can I say, like their physical attributes, like, or their, 
it seems to me like this person sits in a position of having high quality things right or they just like some they just like to wear fine threads and have quality in their life and they're they're quite like they don't want anyone to try to take that away from them very independent that pin that king of pentacles this person maybe invests in stocks very solid and a practical kind of a leader you know that kind of energy okay ten of wands ten 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 so I feel like your person hopes that you will drop the burden, whatever burdens you're carrying. Um, if you have any resentments or this is a past person or you have any, um, they hope that you will be able to drop this. They don't want you to keep feeling like you have to carry the weight of everything in the relationship. Um, they fear though that it, it may be a struggle that... It, it, I mean, there are, there may be some struggles. I'm not exactly, I think it has a lot to do here with the fact that this person, their struggle is committing. And I feel like maybe for some of you, you may be keeping an open mind, but you might be on the brink and thinking, I don't know if this is going to work with this person, if this is your past person, where you might, your decision might be to finally, you know, surrender to it and just give in and just wave the white flag and then just leave and, you know, go find somebody who's able to meet your needs. I feel like um, your, your person here is, they're fearing that this relationship will have reached its absolute exhaustive stage. They hope it hasn't. <laughs> Now we have the King of Swords here. Um, I feel like I'm reading for two different people. I feel like I'm reading for a past and a present. And the past person, it feels mostly like they're the ones who don't want you to give up on them. But you have someone here in the present who's willing to fight for you. So it's like, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Your past person doesn't want you to give up on them, but you're... Your, your new person or your present person is going to fight for you. So it's like, you're like, well, do I, are you telling me, Moon Pie, that I have to fight for my past person? Why would I do that when this new person is going to fight for me, right? So it seems like you, you're keeping it open. I feel, Cancer, that you've got two people showing up here in July one one of them might not have everything you want but the other one might and you're you might be trying to figure out who's who or what's better for you or this could be you know this could be both at the same time you know keeping in a so i feel like overall you're keeping an open mind for both of them okay even though there is a chance there may not be enough attraction or chemistry between you you're open to finding out and so so are both of them <laughs> let's see what the outcome is wow it's crazy <laughs> seven of pentacles the three of wands yep you're gonna sit in a waiting position there you are waiting you're gonna wait and see like who can expand my world? Wasn't that a song in TLC I'm look, from Scrubs? The song Scrubs. Can you horizontally expand my horizon or something like that? I forget the words. Oh my God, it was only like 20. Spatially expand my horizons. <laughs> That's it. You're waiting to see who's going to spatially expand your horizons who's going to be there you know to who's going to come in who's going to show up you know both of these cards are very much like stagnant waiting energy one is one is contemplative you know and the other is like hmm one is like should i keep investing or not and the other is should i wait or not now, it just feels like energy. I can't tell which one 
is saying this, but I feel like the message strongly is for you to just, just make sure that whatever decision you're going to make going forward, because the Eight of Pentacles is after the Seven, and the Eight of Pentacles is putting the effort in. Before you make the decision to put any effort into either relationship, make sure that you're going to be receiving in return what you've been putting out, what you've been giving. Is it reciprocal? That really is the question. So I'm not going to pull any love cards because I don't really, I feel like you've got two people, someone from the past and someone new. And I, I honestly, like I, I just, like I said, I, I just don't see you making a major decision in July. I see you just kind of stepping back and seeing, may the better man or woman win. <laughs> Little competition. All right. So I'm going to pull some angel wisdom tarot. And then I'm going to do a couple of charms here. Okay. The Knight of Earth. Loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive. Plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect timing. A guardian angel or someone who watches over you. Wow. All right. That's your message there for you, Cancer. The Knight of, the Knight of Earth takes his time. He goes really slow. He doesn't jump into any quick, hasty decisions. <clears throat> the wheel. A fresh new start at the end of delays. <laughs> Sudden or unexpected progress. A very positive change in your life. Travel or a new vehicle. I feel like going into August, okay? Because the Seven of Pentacles here can be a card of delay and so can the three of wands okay um but mostly the seven of pentacles is delayed success okay i feel like after this month of july things are going to shift a fresh new start is going to come for you these delays hesitations are going to come to an end and it's more so like the wheel, the change is going to happen and you're just going to get pushed like a wave in a particular direction. And I feel like that's what you kind of want it anyway. You don't want to have to make a decision between the, the past and the present. You, you just want love to lead the way for you and to follow your heart. And, you know... Because you love someone from the past still, somewhere deep, deep down. And, and if they are coming back and they want to try to like express to you and try to make things work, and then you've got somebody new who is just you know willing to go the distance and fight for you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so loud shuffling these cards here. Okay, Ten of Swords, that's the third time. There's definitely surrender and endings happening here. The end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness. <clears throat> a weight off your shoulders. The end of an addiction. A melodramatic reaction. Wow. It's insane how this reading has come out. But definitely, August is going to be a huge shift, Cancer. Like, you're not going to have to do anything right now in July. You just got to go with the flow. Let things be. See how things evolve. Let them evolve naturally. Just just be still, Cancer. You don't have to end anything with anyone. You don't have to start anything with anyone. Just, just be. And just allow Spirit to guide you. All right. Because the answers will come. All right. Let's get a charm here. Okay. They gave us two. Oh, we have a candy skull. Skull candy. Skull candy? What is skull candy? Sugar skull. Okay. I just heard skull candy. I think that's like headphones or something. You might be listening. I have headphones on or maybe you've got... Do they even make them anymore? I, or you have skull candies on your head or something? Um, something that somebody's somewhere where there's sugar skulls or you, you, you paint them or you're looking at them on Etsy or something along those lines. Sugar... Oh, 
<laughs> it's funny. Yeah, a sh sugar scale or um, St. Meredith's, how do you say it? Oh, but I know one of you guys can leave it in the comments. Um, I'm not, um, I'm not um, a Latina, so I don't know. Uh, it, I've heard the name. Let me see. I'm going to look it up because I know you guys are always already saying it in your head. Day of the Dead. There you go. Folk art. Day of the Dead. Calavera. Uh, I hope I have that right. I know it was like some kind of... um. Oh, Dia de los Muertos. Muertos. Mur Mertos. Hope I'm saying that right. Please forgive me for anyone here. <laughs> um, I'm just a little white Irish girl up in the Northeast. I don't know. What do I know? Um, so, yeah, something to do with like Day of the Dead. And there's definitely, um, or you're connected to somebody with these sugar skulls. Oh, um, somebody's birthday November 1st or 2nd or sometime it could be a Scorpio now you also have the peacock here so somebody's going to be peacocking for sure you know trying to impress you <laughs> now I know maybe you saw a picture of a peacock somewhere or I, I can't imagine you'd be walking around a zoo right now but if you are you better leave me a comment because that would be way too weird listening to this reading but I mostly feel like somebody's going to be showboating to try to impress you. And I'm not sure who it is. I'm going to get one more. Huh. Oh, boy. Okay. So we have a wild horse here. And I just heard that song, Wild Horses Couldn't Drag Me Away. <coughs> I feel like... Um, Man, both of these people are going to be pining for your attention. Pining and fighting. There's going to be a war. So I have a blue leaf. And I just heard uh, somebody smokes. Is there blue leaf marijuana? We have a shamrock and we have a palm tree. Okay. Um, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Somebody's uh, connected to a palm tree. Somebody might be Irish or it's just your lucky day or you're at like this shamrock place or something. It might be called shamrock or there's a place near you called shamrock. Um, or you're picking them, looking for shamrocks in the grass somewhere. I don't know, wherever you are in the world. And this blue leaf, this makes me feel... I just heard cure leaf, but then blue leaf makes me feel like there's some kind of um, THC or CBD thing connected to that. And I'm not really sure if somebody's using that right now, <coughs> excuse me, or what's going on. But if that resonates for you, this is definitely a reading. But wow, Cancer, good luck. I mean, you looks like you're at least going to have a fun July. So yeah, I'm going to leave your reading there. Happy birthday to you. And um, again, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And if you want a personal reading link is in the description box below. And I will see you very soon. All right, see you next month. Bye.